Welcome to Milo's Mods, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the Adventure Force Desperado. This is a Walmart exclusive, okay? This plastic costs $8.88, okay? So the first thing that I noticed about this is when you get the blaster, you get the blaster itself, and it comes with 12 AF waffle darts, the gold standard in the community, okay? This is a darts own product, okay? Even though it's branded under the Adventure Force name. Now, the interesting thing about this is if you look at this trigger combo, this is like the same as the Adventure Force trigger fire a couple of years ago by, by uh, Busby. I mean, it's really cool. Now, when I ran this blaster with my chronograph, I was getting an average firing velocity of 75 FPS, which is pretty good on waffle heads. I did check this blaster to see if it would take shorts out of the box. It kind of does. But, however, you would have to remove the dark flag up front before it would fire it effectively. Because when I was trying to shoot shorts out, it, they would helicopter out of the barrel. And that's mainly because of that dark flag that's in there. I mean, this blaster is really cool. I actually do kind of like it, you know, for less than $9, you know, which is a steal of a deal in my opinion. You know, you, you get a 75 FPS blaster that all you do is you remove the dark flag and it'll take shorts. It's just really awesome. I to me, this blaster reminds me of like like a Star Wars blaster or a Star Wars gun or something like that. Definitely sci-fi, which is really cool. Let me give you a firing demo of this. If you watch, what you do to fire this blaster is you squeeze the trigger, okay? And yeah, I'm gonna shoot up at the ceiling. That's pretty cool. Now. But this blaster is, like, really nice. I actually do kind of like it. I mean, normally, I like blasters that shoot a lot harder than this. Like, two and 300 FPS. But for $9, I'm not expecting a million FPS or anything like that. For what it is, it's really nice. It's definitely well worth the price of admission. I'll put it to you that way. You know, and for the price that they're charging... You know, it's definitely rather nice. I mean, I, I'm just kind of blown away. It does feel really good in your hand. You know, it's got the nice little, it just feels awesome, really. I mean, Dart Zone really did a good job with this blaster. Now, do I know if they're going to set, sell this anywhere else? No, not really. I mean, I hope they do, but for what it is, it's a good blaster to have. I can definitely see somebody buying this for the kid for like a birthday present or something like that. Or for, you know, like uh, just a special treat just because the price is so low. And that's the thing that I've noticed this year. A lot of blasters have been, quote, like last year in 2023, most of the blasters cost a lot of money, okay? And when I say a lot of money, I mean at least a couple hundred dollars for good blasters. You know, there wasn't many budget offerings. This year, there's been a lot of budget offerings. There's been a lot of budget offerings from Adventure Force. There's been a lot of budget offerings from Dark Zone itself. And quite a few budget offerings from Busby. Like, for example, the brand new Twist Fury that's coming out. You know, that's in the UK right now, which is nothing more than a skewer. I mean, I'm just in, impressed with the amount of uh, budget offerings that are coming out this year. And I'll be honest with you, if you guys are just looking for something nice to plank around with, this definitely would be it. But in any event, ladies and gentlemen, I'll put a buy link in the description below. Thank you for so much for watching. Don't forget to like and su subscribe. And until next time, this is Miles Mods signing off.